Hey, how's it going guys? This is Zerai here. So I wanted to touch on and talk about, you know, just give my predictions and a little bit of a wish list as well relating to the PlayStation upcoming showcase. Now, before I even progress, I want to mention that there's even a possibility that we may not even get a showcase. It may be state of play. In fact, it may not be, well, there may not be anything. <laughs> and that actually genuinely would really, really suck. And I think that PlayStation really, really needs at least to showcase uh, and announce some of the games that people and gamers can be looking forward to. And then, you know, what if, just what if, since they are very unpredictable as of late, and for the past, like, I'm not sure, 40 years or so, PlayStation has just been going with the route that, well, you can't really say exactly when they are confident, let's say, that they want to show off their games to be looking forward to for the future. Now, of course, with the state of play, thankfully, that means that a lot of a lot of times that you, whenever you pretty much not be expecting, and yet when they're showcasing and saying like there's an announcement now, you can look forward to the state of play, and then there's a showcase coming up in a week. Oh man, it's very very exciting, and people are looking forward to it. And half the times, well, that's not true because more often than not, in fact. A lot of times, basically, these showcases are phenomenal. In fact, state of plays, when they begun, they just were not very special. They were not that interesting or entertaining. But as of late, and as often as well, they became more or less of a mini showcases. And they often even showcase games that people will be looking forward to. And they genuinely have done an incredible job of really getting people excited. And that's fantastic. And I really hope that in this case, whenever the showcase happens, like I mentioned, there's even a possibility the showcase would not happen at all. And Jeff Grubb, with his report, could have been just bullshitting. He, maybe he genuinely does not know. Maybe his source is wrong as well. Not necessarily to say that it's Jeff Grubb's fault. <laughs> There's just a mention that there should be something going on. Now, he's uncertain if it's going to be state of play or a showcase, but it still should be something happening at the very end of May of this year. Coming from PlayStation in terms of uh, showcase, state of play, we do not know. Now, there still could be plans change, right? Maybe they actually will end up revealing their showcase and uh, you know having an announcement at the end of the May, but also having their proper showcase at the very early of June. Or maybe they'll go even crazier. Maybe they'll decide to push the showcase all the way till the September. Well, ah, please don't. It wouldn't be too bad as well, since there are going to be other showcases to be look, you know, to check out, such as Ubisoft Forward, Xbox's showcase, and yet uh, it's still kind of sucks, if, <laughs> to be honest with you. But nevertheless, you know what? Let's get into the games that I'll be looking forward to and of course some of the predictions I want to make and not necessarily to say that I'll be looking forward to every single game out here that I'll be mentioning and of course I will share my thoughts as well. So obviously we have a little bit of a question to remind ourselves and just like what's going on with Silent Hill 2 Remake. Now, with its first presentation in terms of its gameplay, a lot of people were not exactly convinced of what they have seen, myself included. I, what I noticed is like, wait, so they're trying to go a little closer to Resident Evil 2 Remake's direction in terms of the gameplay, but a lot less budget-wise, if that makes sense. And I'm not trying to be finicky, I'm not trying to be uh, seeing this thing on a negative light, but when you do kind of tend to compare, and you know what, these are horror games you still will end up nevertheless comparing some things with Resident Evil, Silent Hill 2. Yeah, sure, there are different games in a lot of cases. I get that. But again, there are remakes. There are third-person perspective games. There are horror games. The main character has similar hairstyle, just like Leon S. Kennedy. It kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? But still, it's just human nature. It's natural. You do want to see comparisons, and it's a bit of a competition anyway. It's normal. And yet, when I'm looking and seeing the Silent Hill 2 remake gameplay, it did did not actually convince me. At least, if they're gonna go with a little closer to Resident Evil 2 Remake's gameplay, go all the way, don't half-ass it. And just the way it looked like, the animations were stiff, everything is not kind of way wise, super budget-wise, and just a lot of things were not done. And thankfully, we still do not know of its release date, and I, I kind of hope it gets delayed, so it can get polished more. But nevertheless, if you know if the team is confident, and I hope they're not gonna get their ass chewed by the higher ups, and if they're confident that they can release this game on the deadline, let's say like assuming it will be coming out at the end of this year, and it actually will turn out to be good, then yeah, I'm gonna eat my words. I'm gonna say I was wrong. It looks like that Silent Hill 2 remake is a banger. But 
at the moment, as I know so far, and that I've not yet seen too much of the updates regarding it, well, it's a little bit concerning to be honest with you. Nevertheless, let's continue. So next up is Concord. There were some leaks and rumors regarding that we should expect to see this game. In fact, we should expect to see this game coming out this year. So this is one of the bigger and the only more or less bigger games coming from first party uh, titles of PlayStation. Now it's been confirmed already that do not expect any sorts of big AAA standards of giant games coming in the uh, 2024 and all the way till I think was like March of 2025. So do not expect anything large or really significant. But it doesn't necessarily stop us from thinking what they could tease, because they could still tease very, very big games that will be coming out in 2025, 2026, 2027, we do not know. And so, Concord. I'm not exactly looking forward to it, honestly, because of the direction that the developers have decided to go with this game. Number one, it's a more or less of a live service title. Uh, I'm not sure about the live service title of the, you know, the, like literally the title of it, I'm not sure if it's there, but it's a first person action game. I don't really like first person perspective games my preference is third person but it's not to say that i am not looking forward to you know what i mean i want to see what they got in store for this i heard that there's an inspiration and very heavy inspirations from guardians of the galaxy and of course when you take a look at the volume 2 of guardians of the galaxy movie and volume 3 included yeah i can definitely see how they had some sort of inspirations from there still this could be a sleeper hit just like it was of the Helldivers 2, this game ended up being a ginormous success. And that's fantastic news. Now, we'll have to wait and see how Concord will fare as well. Now, talk about fair, fair games. I think I'm expecting to see here, at least at the announcement. But not to say that the announcement, look, we already know it's coming. But the thing is, I'm expecting to see a trailer, and at least a closer dive towards this gameplay trailer. But I don't think we will see this game this year, and I do think that it will be coming out in 2025, and I think it's actually going to be a detriment, because so far what we have seen from both of these games, Concord included, well, Fair Games isn't exactly on a positive light, especially since it's just, once again, live servers game that PlayStation tries to tend to and go towards. It just doesn't scream motivation and doesn't scream that it's a passion project right but i can be wrong i can be wrong and i'm just i need to see the gameplay that's just the one thing i kind of hope it actually will land and it actually will resonate with something within me that i genuinely will be looking forward to now the games that we do know that uh should be coming it's until dawn remake i'll be honest i'm gonna say it and i don't care if it's gonna be a little bit controversial or not maybe a little diver you know maybe people don't agree with me here is this really a remake? It's more closer to a remaster. And yet, they're gonna justify this to perhaps putting it at the highest price point they can? I don't know. I know that they changed around the engine and also the studio, but the majority of the people and the developers that were working originally until dawn are now working on this so-called remake as well. That doesn't justify it being a remake and a full price tag game as well. I don't think it's really worth it. Now, if it's gonna be a $50 price tag, maybe then? But again, I have to see and check out what it's going to store and perhaps maybe I'll pick it up and play it. I do not know. I've, I really have enjoyed Until Dawn, really. I got the Platinum Trophy on it as well, but I don't know what to expect out of the remake, uh, well, in this case. Here's a little bit, and I more or less of a doubtful game that I'm not really expecting to see, but it is still is a possibility. It's not to say that it's definitely not happening. I'm talking about Wolverine game, Marvel's Wolverine. Now. It's been a while since we actually have seen it back then, and I do expect it to come out like 2025, maybe 2026. Insomnia games are gen genuinely are crazy. Like the amount of the times that they announced their games and actually released them, and in a state that they were released as well, genuinely is a masterpiece. Like these studio, these developers are master crafters. And it's incredible, really kudos to them. Congratulations of keeping up with so many demands of people and gamers and actually able to achieve them. It's an incredible achievement. And yet, I'm not sure what to expect out of Wolverine. We only got the snippet of the teaser of the Logan, you know, just in a bar, in a pub, and just basically doing his own thing, what the Wolverine does anyway. I'm looking forward to this game. We've seen some leaks, and regarding of the leaks from Insomnia Games, 
let's touch on a little big a little game called Spider-Man 2. Fortunately, the leak kind of told us a little bit. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Maybe they changed our plans. Maybe it's never coming out now. Maybe it got delayed. That there could be something going on for Spider-Man 2 in terms of DLC or an expansion. And it could also be coming out at the end of 2024. I really hope it's true. I really want to come back to Spider-Man 2 and or hell even replay it if not. And I want to experience that DLC or what. Uh, it genuinely would be an incredible experience. And I hope it's... Uh, I don't know. Like, I'm looking forward to it, I'm gonna have my eyes peeled, but nevertheless, let's continue on with the Insomniac games. Here's a big one, a very big one. Now, I'm doubtful that it will come out, no, no, it's definitely not coming out this year, but you never know what, when it will come out. Will it come out before the Wolverine game or after? And due to the leak, unfortunately, Insomniac did not get an opportunity to surprise people. I'm talking about Marvel's Venom. What's going on with that project? Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> and yet, I'm curious to see what they got in store. And I don't think they can actually do wrong with Venom, if you know what I'm talking about. If you've seen how Venom plays in Spider-Man 2, you'd know that Venom is awesome. Nevertheless, ah, it's gonna be interesting to see more. So, let's continue on from the Insomniac games and into more prominent studios such as Santa Monica and of course Naughty Dog. I'll be honest with you, I'm not expecting to see absolutely anything from Naughty Dog. I think they're going to be absent from the show. Now, the latest title that they released was The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. But I'm expecting to see The Last of Us Part 2 PC release. Not to say that perhaps it will be here in the showcase. But what could be here in the showcase is actually a God of War Ragnarok PC release. Nevertheless, there's still a possibility that Naughty Dog could do some sort of a teaser. But again, I'm not expecting anything, to be honest with you. And if they do end up doing some sort of a teaser, I think it will be something completely new, a brand new IP. I'm not expecting The Last of Us Part 3. And to be honest with you, I'm sick of The Last of Us. Move on, please. And thankfully, by Neil Druckmann, with his remarks and also his comments, it looks like he actually has moved on. So it's going to be interesting to see what he's got in store. And now regarding of Santa Monica, I'm also not very much expecting to see anything other than there's a possibility that we could see an announcement of the Atreus game, a standalone game, or something that Cody Barla could be working on that we're not aware of. A completely brand new IP. So, Ghost of Tsushima 2. This is a game I'm actually expecting it to see here. This is like a 90% yes. I do expect it to see here, at least a teaser. Because I think that Ghost of Tsushima 2 needs to come out in 2025. Uh, well, now that I think about it, there's so many games that are coming out in 2025, and there's so many big games on top of that. For example, like Grand Theft Auto 6. I'm doubtful, you know what I mean, that it will even come out in 2024. Again, it's definitely not, because it's been announced that there's going to be no big IP. But I am expecting to see at least to a tease for Ghost of Tsushima 2. Man, this can be awesome if there would be. Oh, by the way, like I already touched on regarding Grand Theft Auto 6, no. No, 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 no. There will be no Grand Theft Auto 6 uh, trailer in uh, PlayStation Showcase, Xbox Showcase, anywhere. Uh, Rockstar is going to do their own thing. When they're ready, they will release their second trailer. And by the way, the second trailer, I think, will be coming out at the end of this year. And that's when we can expect. Some There's so many rumors and leaks going on with that game as well. Anyway, it's pretty normal. It's Rockstar. Grand Theft Auto 6, one of the most, if not the most, anticipated games of all time. So, Blue Point Games. Okay, well, we got an interesting one here. I'm kind of saddened the way that they're not actually working on a remake of Bloodborne. What's going on with that game, seriously? Sony, PlayStation, you're really missing out on some dotes, you know, some money on that. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I don't know what's going on with that title. But nevertheless, Bluepoint Games is seemingly working on the original new game. Uh, I don't know what to make out of it. I hope it actually turned out to be good because we only know Bluepoint Games to be a guys that make remakes. But now that they got an opportunity of making something new and for themselves, well, that's fantastic news for them. But I'm genuinely curious, when is it coming out? Like, the last time we've seen anything from Bluepoint Games was, I believe, yeah, the release of PlayStation 5 of Demon's Souls Remake in 2020. Insane, right? Just think about that, how long it's been. My goodness. Housemark, new project. Now, Returnal has come out in 2021. 
So what's going on with their new IP? Because there actually has been some talks that they're actually working on a new IP. There have been some, I don't want to say rumors, but speculations that there could be a sequel for Returnal. And it doesn't look like it will be a sequel for Returnal. I feel like Celine's, is that her name? Celeste Celine, basically her story is wrapped up. At the kind of, I believe so. I don't see the reason to actually have a a sequel for us. Nevertheless, you can still always make a sequel to the games that genuinely do not need a sequel, but uh, well, in this case, it seems like they're making a new IP, but I, can, I could be wrong too. Team Asobi. So this is an interesting one. There's been a lot of rumors as recently that there's actually a new Astro game coming. In fact, maybe coming this year. And the thing is, it's been also reported that it's a PlayStation 5 game and not a PSVR 2. Uh, I don't know if I'll, I'm just gonna say it. I do think that's actually fantastic news because I really, really have loved Astro Bot Playhouse, Playground, whatever. It's genuinely incredible fun. And on top of that, it's free for everyone who purchased the PlayStation 5 console and is downloaded already on your console. It's an incredible game, I platinumed it. And ah oh, man, I really hope that um, Team Asobi will be able to craft something larger in scale and scope of Astro game, but just don't go overboard <laughs> because I don't see the reason to go, you know, for it to go. Just make sure it's actually innovative and fun and creative, of course. So I want to get into some of the games that I'm talking about Metal Gear Solid Delta remake. Like everything that we have noticed and they have done some sort of a marketing and advertising for this game. Like there are some reports that this game is actually will be coming out this year. Uh, I don't know. Could be. Uh, I really hope so because I'm really, I really want to play Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> it's been a while since I played Metal Gear Solid. It's like last time I played was Metal Gear Solid 5 for the Platinum Trophy. I even got a video about that if you guys want to check it out. And it's been a while since I platinumed it, so I want to get back into Metal Gear Solid again. You know, considering as well, Pragmata, what's going on with that game? It's been so long since this announcement and then delay after delay. And now we know that it's actually been delayed indefinitely. Like, is there a possibility that we could perhaps finally see it now? And perhaps with this time, with a lot more concrete release dates, maybe release year? Ah, uh, we do not know, of course. Death Stranding 2. Now, that is an interesting one. Even though we have seen it a few months already ago, I mean, from the state of play, I'm honestly, I want to say I don't think we should see it here. Due to that, it takes a lot longer than we're anticipating of creating these sorts of trailers. And on top of that, Kojima Productions making these very lengthy and long trailers, I don't think it would be enough time for them to make this within three, well, what is it, three, four months of time? I don't know. Uh, but nevertheless, I still don't think it will be here because also the game's coming out and have been already confirmed 2025. So they still have plenty of time. And I think they'll choose to showcase uh, and, you know, reveal more trailers and gameplays a little closer to 2025. But again, I could be wrong. Perhaps maybe they'll decide to showcase it here. Maybe something like a smaller snippet or perhaps maybe some kind of cutscene or during a more like behind the background scene or something like that. I don't know. I do not know, of course. Well, we're at it, actually. Uh, Kojima Productions, they have hinted from their last date of play that Hideo Kojima is making a, uh, you know, a little game called Ficent, Ficent, not too sure how to pronounce it. And of course, definitely do not expect it here. Definitely not. I want to mention here due to that it's going to be happening. It's going to be in the development. It's not even yet in the full development. The only time they will start working on it is after the release of Death Stranding 2. So we do not have to expect this game for many, many more years. In fact, I don't quite understand what was the reason of announcing it so darn early. Again, I kind of get it, but again, I don't want to wait that long, if you know what I'm talking about. So an obvious game, um, Black Myth Wukong, that's coming out in August. So perhaps maybe another trailer? We do not know. It looks awesome. The trailers always kind of convinced me. Uh, well, I think they might have actually showcased a little too much of the game. I'm kind of worried about that. But still, I'm very much uh, looking forward to it. Phantom Blade Zero, what's going on with that game? That looked incredible if it's first trailer re release. And I hope it actually lives up to the expectations. But again, we'll have to wait and see. 
Same case with Judas. What's going on with that game? Is there something special about it? Like when is that coming coming out? Very curious. Perhaps maybe we shall see it in different showcases. But again, uh, not holding my breath. Well, I'm, well, talking about Judas as well. Bioshock. The next Bioshock game. Hmm. Interesting. There could be something going on with that game included. And I th also one more thing. Uh, Mafia Four. Hmm. <laughs> I think there's something going on in terms of a Mafia 4 being developed and I actually have made a separate report that Mafia 4 will be coming up soon, maybe, maybe not. I still think it's a little early, but it's still not to say that they could not do a little tease for this game. And then perhaps a few years later they finally release it. Uh, here's another game. I'm not too sure what to make out of it, but it's from EA. I don't know if we should even expect it to see here. I'm talking about Dragon Age Dreadwolf. There's a report that this game should be coming out at the end of this year. I don't know what to make out of it. I want to see the gameplay, then actually share my thoughts in terms of oh man, am I looking forward to this, or man, I'm not looking forward to this. Because a lot of times, a lot of other older Dragon Age games, well, they didn't actually change my mind around in terms of me not wanting to play them. But I have heard that from the reports that Dreadwolf will be something closer to a more akin to a third-person perspective game. And if that's the case, oh man, I may have to pick this game up. But again, we're talking about Bioware, we're talking about EA, and of course, Bioware, however fantastic these studios were, you hear that were? That's the terminology in here, that's the issue. The team is so different, this is no longer Bioware. You, can might, you might as well say this is like a Bioware Junior. They're not up to a par. And so far, every other game that they released were not up to a par. That's why I'm not holding my breath and I will be very, very keen, literally staring at this announcement of this trailer. I'm not very much expecting out of it, pretty much anything, but I could be wrong. Let's get into a little bit of a doubtful one. I'm not very much expecting to see here. I'm talking about Marathon. Yes, Bungie's next big game. I'm not, ex okay, the reason I'm not expecting it here is also because of their upcoming release of the Destiny 2, the Final Shape expansion. By the way, I should mention, I actually will be playing uh, the Final Shape expansion. I will be live streaming it and I will be making reviews, thoughts and all that good, good stuff because this, expansion maybe it's not necessarily true but it's too many many people that in fact this expansion might be the last expansion destiny 2 will ever get fucking finally bungie needs to move on if not move on to destiny 3 or move on completely from this game because destiny 2 has completely overstayed its welcome and due to that since i've been a very big fan of destiny especially destiny 1 and a little bit of destiny 2 when it originally released I got burned out of the game because like it's just been doing the same thing again and again. So I'm gonna have to re relearn a lot of things from this game. So it's gonna be interesting, and that's why I'll be picking up the Final Shape expansion and you know sharing my thoughts when when it comes out. I think it comes out on second of June, so it's very very close. That's the reason also why I'm not expecting to see Marathon from Bungie, and instead I think they'll just release a new trailer or whatnot. Perhaps maybe if they would release a Marathon trailer, it's just gonna show off maybe extra gameplay, snippets at least. It will be interesting to see what they got in store for that game. But there has been some reports that it got pushed in terms of its delay or eternal delay. So I'm not very much, you know, holding my breath even this game coming out in 2025. I think the earliest that we should expect Marathon from Bungie will be 2026. So, okay, here's a little bit of a studio that we have not heard from for a very long time, and there's been rumors regarding it, in fact, very unsettling ones included. I'm talking about Sony Ben's next game. So, it's been a long time, like I mentioned, right? But the thing is, there has been reports, especially from Jason Trier, he mentions that uh, Sony Ben actually tried to make a sequel for Days Gone, but unfortunately Sony, well, they said no because of the reception that Days Gone received. It wasn't exactly favorable. Personally for me, I have really, really loved Days Gone. I'm so disappointed the way it didn't get the sequel. And now, though, thankfully, it looks like Sony Band is making a new game and using the same engine that they have used in the 
uh, Days Gone game. But I don't know what to expect from it. I think they only began developing on this game in the end of 2022. So they've been working on it for a few years, couple years. I don't think it's enough time for them to be certain and actually reveal or at least make some sort of a, a tease for their next upcoming game. That's why I'm not really holding my breath regarding it. So here's a big one, very big one, Horizon. Horizon got so many games upcoming. It, it's really daunting. It's the same case as it was for The Last of Us, but this case with Horizon is perhaps even worse. Now we know that the third uh, Horizon installment is coming, right? Where Aloy Adventure will be, well, concluding, I hope. <laughs> they really need to stop with the Aloy's adventure, move on, seriously. And there's been a confirmation, more or less, that there's a Lego Horizon game coming. Like I think it's called Lego Adventures Horizon, some sort. Uh, not very much interested, unfortunately. There, are, there has been report regarding of the Horizon multiplayer game. My goodness, there's also an MMO Horizon game. <laughs> Just thinking about how many titles, how many things that they got in store. Please stop, you know? Just move on. Just make your third installment of Horizon game. Let people enjoy it. Perhaps release a DLC afterwards like they've been doing it. Move on. Why is there so many Horizon related projects? My goodness. And by the way, if I do expect to see something from Horizon, I do think it's about time that they showcase something related to a multiplayer Horizon game. And also, that Lego Horizon game, I'm, like I said, I'm not interested. I'm expecting it to see it here as well. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> but regarding of the multiplayer Horizon game, there's been a tease of the artwork of the Horizon multiplayer game, and a lot of people didn't like what they've seen, and myself included. It's more like a Monster Hunter world, but with cartoony, kind of Fortnite-y graphics, and that's just oh my goodness! A lot of people thought I do not want this, and of course, it's been already many, many, many years since that artwork. And perhaps maybe they change things around in terms of its graphics and stuff. I do not know. I'm worried, if that makes sense. Let's get into a big one, and we know it will be coming. We do not know when, though, but there were some rumors and leaks. I'm talking about Resident Evil 9. We do not know, you know, what's it going to be called. There's been some rumors and speculations. It's going to be called Apocalypse. They're going to have like a numerical number of a 9, right? Like of a, an I and the X. And so they're just going to have Apocalypse or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, there's been reports that it may be coming sometime in January of 2025. It's going to be an open world game as well. Very interesting. How would that really work? I think it's quite ambitious. And if it actually turns out to be well, and how Resident Evil 4 Remake has turned out as well, it could be something special. I don't know. We need to see this. I need to see how it actually will turn out to be. How different will it be from the more traditional Resident Evil remakes, of course. I'm not expecting this. I think they'll actually have their own version of the showcase, or perhaps they maybe reveal it in the PlayStation blog. I'm talking about PlayStation 5 Pro. I don't know if they will end up doing something for this sh showcase and revealing something relating to the PlayStation 5 Pro. I actually think it might be a good idea to do so. You know, marketing, advertising, you know, I think it will be a benefit for them. But just maybe do what they did with the PlayStation 5 and this time just show off the PlayStation 5 Pro, how it looks, but don't mention anything else. Wait for a few months and then mention of the graphics and leaps that you can do, what it does, what's the benefit out of uh, you can get as well out of it. And then also like maybe a few weeks later, showcase its price and of course the release date as well. Maybe that's how they're gonna go about it. But I think that they should take the advantage in this showcase and show off how the PlayStation 5 Pro will look like. We know it's coming, right? We already know the how powerful it is, right? We know for a fact that it's not exactly as powerful as a lot of people are anticipating, especially its CPU component. That so I think it's like what 10% more powerful than play, play, the original PlayStation 5. That kind of sucks to be honest with you. This means that you will not mean that you will be able to play all your games now, 60 FPS, 4K. <laughs> Wow, what's the point of that then, right? A lot of people will be questioning in their minds. Perhaps maybe the reasoning is because, well, 
they want to wait for PlayStation, what is it, 6? My goodness. And then you can finally play all your uh, 60 FPS games, 4K native, my goodness. But that, by that time, that's going to take another four years until we'll see the PlayStation 6. It's just think, crazy to think about that. It's plenty of things that we can be looking forward to and plenty of wish lists, some predictions have included, of course, from the PlayStation Showcase. Like I mentioned, there could not, there could be even that the PlayStation Showcase will never make an appearance this year, like they've done in, I believe, in 2022. Like, completely abandoned that year. Uh, wow. But still, they had a state of play, so maybe in this case, they'll actually have a state of play instead. All right, well, if we hear anything, and presumably, hopefully, it will be uh, the upcoming week, and so from Monday till Thursday, Friday, perhaps, we'll hear by that time, finally, an announcement of the showcase from PlayStation or a state of play. At that, thank you so much for watching, guys. My goodness, it's been a long video. I did not intend to make this video this long, but hopefully it was at least somewhat entertaining, enjoyable to listen through. Again, I'll see you guys all, and have a wonderful day.